Hi Virgo, I hope you're all doing well. In today's reading, we'll be looking at whoever you're thinking about for January. Queen of Pentacles, Five of Wands. This is a tricky energy that you were dealing with. Um, perhaps this person was, uh, you know, they brought a lot of drama conflict uh, towards you or they were just surrounded by some drama here. But I'm seeing this person was not satisfied with their life, their circumstances. They felt they needed more. They were dissatisfied and not seeing opportunities being presented to them. They, they felt they didn't have options. Some of you, this can be when it comes to love, but it can be other areas of their life. I do see someone who is very work focused, so it definitely can be someone who is um, unhappy with a home situation or a work situation, right? But there was a lot of drama or not seeing eye to eye with you as well. Some of you, this person was married because why they blocked you, we, sorry, not blocked, why they ghosted you, we have six of swords, ten of cups. So some of you, there was distance between the both of you. Some of them were traveling to see family. They were in a relationship. Six of swords, ten of cups. But this has to do with family or relationships around them, which is why they um, withdrew their energy here. How they're viewing you, we have Knight of Wands, Three of Cups in reverse. They're viewing you as someone who's turned their your back towards the situation and you're not coming together. You're not reconciling, especially if this person did have other people in their energy. Um, you're not participating in the drama here. Three of Cups in reverse is how they're viewing you. You're not taking initiative towards them. How they'll be feeling about you, we have Eight of Cups upright, Two of Cups in reverse. Five of Cups upright, Magician, Six of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles in reverse. This person's walking away from this situation. They're emotionally withdrawing because there was a fallout, a breakup, a separation, Two of Cups in reverse because of other, you know, interference from other people. With the Five of Swords, we have three people there. But it can be some mind games. It's almost this person was manipulative. As a result, there was confusion and drama between the both of you. But you weren't seeing eye to eye here. And this person seems to be manifesting money with the Magician, Six of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. Some of you may have worked with this person, but they seem to be focused on some sort of financial endeavor, which is not getting off the ground. And others of you, again, with Six of Pentacles, they're, this energy is giving to two people. So there was another situation they were focused on as well. Ten of Cups. This person's intentions towards you, we have two of pentacles, four of pentacles. Well, for one, they're busy. They have other things on their plate. They're juggling, right? Home, family, work, work, family. That is what is going on. They're busy. But there's also indecision when it comes to you. Should I reach out to Virgo or should I hold back? It's sort of up in the air. They're wanting to reach out to you, but they're holding back with the four of pentacles is what I'm seeing, Virgo. What action they'll take towards you, King of Pentacles, Hermit, Six of Cups, the lovers. This person loves you, they miss you, so don't be fooled by this Eight of Cups and their feelings. Yeah, they're taking a step back, they're emotionally withdrawing. But it's almost someone who misses you, but their pride won't let them admit that to you, is what I'm getting. So it's a 50-50 here. This person's been in... They've been isolated and they've been working on their finances is what I'm getting. Some job situation, right? Because we have Hermit Sixth House with the King of Pentacles, which can be a business person. And those of you, this person was in a commitment. We have King and Queen of Pentacles. So they're focused on their family and some of them, their children. But regardless, they're missing you here and the connection between the both of you. But they had to make a head over heart decision. Right? They're saying I'm being practical. But this person wants to reconcile. They want to send you that message. But they go back and forth with this two of pentacles. Should I or should I not? Right, That is what I'm seeing here. How you'll be feeling. We have four of wands, nine of wands in reverse. You feel like this situation brought you instability. Some of you were committed to this person right, in the past. But... You feel like giving up, you're drained, you don't want to fight for the situation. 
especially if this person was coming through as non-committal. But you feel the situation is unstable, so you're pulling back your energy. The potential outcome, we have justice, seven of pentacles in reverse, seven of wands upright. So in your outcome, someone's assessing the situation and not initiating anything. I feel this justice is your energy, but it can be mutual because I was feeling this person watches you, right? Because she's peeking through the blindfold here in justice. They want to see what you've been up to, but they're also not moving towards your and investing time or energy in this. Someone here feels that this situation is a waste of time. And as a result, they're pushing the other away, Seven of Wands. And someone feels they're too busy to invest in this. That is coming through as well. They have all these other demands, things on their plate, right? But a lot of you, I see you not doing much here. And you may feel like this is not worth your time. Nine of Wands, Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Bottom deck energy, we have Death in reverse. Eight of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, this person ghosted to work on themselves, focus on their finances, their job, eight of pentacles, nine of pentacles, their independence, but they haven't completely let go of this either, death in reverse. So they're still holding on to you and they're missing you. Six of cups, the lovers, death in reverse. Although it appears that their back is turned to the situation. It's almost secretly yearning for another. Let's get you this love pack here, Virgo. heartbreak yeah do you see the trail of hearts here this person may have done this to other people in the past as well someone who's flighty they were never satisfied with what they had they were moody and this right we have her crying and he's walked out yeah this person has is a heartbreaker and look at this holding on He's walking out the door and she's holding on to him. This has been coming through quite a bit. We have fear and we have the lovers. Yeah, we have the lovers here twice in their energy. There was a strong physical attraction. Some of you, there can be fear when it comes to, you know, intimacy here or a fear of commitment. And come hither, yeah. Strong physical attraction. He's calling out to her. Some of you, this person is waiting for the right time to come towards you. Especially if there was distance here, Six of Swords, given that there isn't a third party. But even if there is, they've been missing you, so it's 50-50. Some of them will want to reach out to you. Let's get this Love Fortune Teller deck for you as well. But they seem to be focused on financial matters. A lot of pentacles coming through in their energy. love bombing perhaps this was this person's energy in the past we have good news coming yeah look at that finance is affecting your love life that's exactly what i'm getting for this person they may be expecting some good news when it comes to their finances but it's delayed, Ace of Pentacles in reverse, and that is what they're concerned about. We also have practiced self-love and not on the same page, but we have obsessed with you. Yeah, I was seeing that bickering or not seeing eye to eye with the Five of Swords and Five of Wands. We have not calling you. So some of you, this person will choose to 
resist, right? With the Four of Pentacles is when we're holding on to our assets, what we already have established, and we're not willing to take a chance, right? So some of them may choose to hold back. We have let go of neediness. We have change of heart and stand your ground. It's putting you, it's telling you to establish stronger boundaries and a lot of you are with justice here. You're doing what's right for you in the outcome. Let's get one more. Whoa. Becoming a better person. Yeah, you're growing um, through this situation, this connection. Spiritual development. And we have making an apology. Stalking you online. Fear is blocking connection, which is why they're choosing to ignore. But they're jealous, so they don't want you to move on with someone else. Some of you, this person was jealous as in they thought you were better than them. So they may compete with you. They were very competitive. This may have been a bit of a love-hate, right? But that 50-50 I was talking about, I'm seeing it with the justice scales as well, the indecision. So for some of you, this person will choose to hold back. It's free will. Um, and others of you, this person will give in, right? Because they're missing you. But regardless of if they reach out or not, they're still missing you, right? But they haven't made up their mind whether they want to come towards you or not. Which is why some of them will continue to not call you, ignore you, and others of you. Someone will come forward and make an apology here, is what is coming through. Let's get this deck. And differences. I thought you were just playing mind games, so I didn't bother. Okay, some of you, they thought you were playing with them with the Five of Swords. But I was seeing mind games for how they were um, approaching the situation as well. Fear. I was afraid of your reaction, so I decided to avoid the confrontation. Yeah, because I think you are honest. You're someone of integrity with justice. And if this person has done you wrong, they're aware. And they were afraid of what you have to say. Because with justice, you're very much capable of putting them in their place. And we have fear here twice. In their feelings, right? Fear and fear. Some of you, the situation caused them a lot of anxiety. You know, they were overthinking things. There may have been a lot of arguments between the both of you. And the reason they ghosted was because peace of mind, right? Because the Six of Swords is rolling into the Ten of Cups. This can be peace, right? Happiness. So it's sort of they pulled back to restore balance to feel happy again. Because this situation was leaving them drained. Eight of Cups. That is for some of you. We have pessimism. I felt like I would never meet your expectations. Unavailable. You gave me no other choice but to ghost you. I said what I needed to say, but you weren't accepting it. Yeah, look at all this. I'll read this to you. We have fear. I'm so used to the single life and being alone that your intensity scared me. I feared what you represented. That energy I was getting, fear of intimacy. We have. I have a hard time trusting our connection and chose to run from you. I have a hard time trusting anyone. So there's trust issues here as well. Which is why both of you seem to be pushing the other way. You're both on guard here with the Seven of Wands in your outcome. Your advice, Virgo, we have Spotlight and we have Flower. Be honest with yourself, number 17. We, have, we do ourselves a major disservice when we aren't truthful with ourselves. There's something you know to be true, yet you continue to ignore it. 
Lying to yourself may feel like the easiest thing to do, but things have changed. It's time for you to face reality, even if it makes you uncomfortable. No matter the outcome, it won't be nearly as bad as you think. So there may be something here um, that you, you're in denial about. And they're wanting you to face reality and get to the root of the issue here. I'm not sure what is this about. that this isn't progressing past a friendship. This person is emotionally unavailable. They're a cheater, seven of swords, but this can be self-deception here as well. There may be something in terms of your emotions that you need to confront here as well. That is coming through. Some of you, it's also taking responsibility. This won't be for everyone, especially if there was red flags early on, some of them uh, that you may have ignored with the fool. Because fool can be a reckless energy when we're leaping without looking. And the fool is leaping into the three of swords and six of wands in reverse. So there may have been some red flags. Perhaps you weren't listening to your intuition. So it's also taking responsibility of what part you played here. That's for some of you, be for everyone. But you will know, right? You know your situation better than I do. So it's saying be honest with yourself. Some of you, it can be just accepting this um, ending here, right? With the four of wands in reverse. We have spotlight. You're about to be in the spotlight, whether it's your person only having eyes for you or your career finally taking off. Expect to get a It's your career is finally taking off expect to get a lot of attention this is beautiful but yes Virgo that is what I have for you take care of yourself and I'll see you next week bye